Remind you of your baptism? Everything good, man. Everything level. Yeah, we're still serving the Lord, man, 100%. This man had to get ducked like three times this morning, eh? <laughs> morning, morning, morning. Come forward. This is This is the day of victory. We champion on the enemy. Hands and let's rejoice together. This is the day of victory. Clap your hands and let's rejoice together. This is the day of victory. Clap your hands and let's rejoice together. Goodbye world, I see no longer with you, I see no longer with you, I've made up my mind, I've made up my mind. Made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Hey, goodbye, world. Goodbye, world. I still don't know if you go back to the world of sin. I still don't know if you go back to the world of sin. I still don't know if you go back to the world of sin. Made up my mind. I made up my mind. Rest of my life, I made up my mind. To go that way, I made up my mind. To go that way, I made up my mind. To go that way, I Bible is clear. 
except you be born again, you can't even have a glimpse of the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can a man enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. When Jesus was talking about water, he was talking about baptism, water baptism. He said, If you are not born in water baptism, which represents the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you cannot enter and born of the Spirit, which represents the Holy Spirit because there is a capital S there. It represents the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, any man be in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. Now, when you finish getting baptized, when you give your life to Christ, you're still going to make mistakes. You are still going to make mistakes. But the wonderful thing about the Holy Spirit is that he is able to renew you constantly. It means from the time you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. If you just sinned yesterday, God forgives you today, you are new today. If you just sinned an hour ago and you, act, you confess your sins, he forgives you, you are new. That after that hour, after the moment that you said, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and you confess the sin, he forgives you, and you are new. It means that no man, no human being, has the right to condemn you. Now, Jesus Christ said in his word that he did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Now, this is the only perfect person that walked on the face of the planet. And he said, no one has the right. If he did not come, if he did not come to condemn us, then who can condemn us? I remember the story in the world when Mary Madeline was caught in the act of adultery. And Jesus was stooping down. And the Bible said he was writing in the dust, writing in the, in the sand. He was writing on the ground. And they, just like all persons are here right now, they came and they brought her in the midst. And he said, she was caught in the act. What should we do with her? What should we do with her? She was caught in the act. Moses said that we must stone her. We must kill her. But they were accustomed, because in the Mosaic law, they were accustomed to stone these people. Now Jesus Christ came with something totally different. And they wondered, they wondered if Jesus would follow the same principles of the Mosaic law. But the Bible says that Jesus came not to do away with the law, but to fulfill it, to bring it to an end, to start a new chapter of grace, of mercy, of love. So Jesus stooping down, he looked up at them and he said, he without sin, cast the first stone. And I believe at that time they began to think within themselves. They begin to reason with themselves and think if they really had any sin. The Bible says, Jesus continued to write. Or whatever he was doing in the ground, remember he created us from the dust of the earth. And when he lifted up back his head, all the accusers were gone. And there were only left one person standing there in front of him. And they, that was Mary Madeline. She was standing there receiving grace from the one and the only person who was most perfect and had all right. He had all right to condemn her because of the sin that she committed. But he refused to do so because he did not come into this world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Today, as you enter into water baptism, it is commanded that we do so, so that we will be able to enter into the kingdom of God. 
wrestlers who refuse to do so. Now, somebody might say, Pastor, but there are persons who died and gave their life to Jesus and the dead men. No, that's different. The man on the cross. No, that's different. If you have the time to do it, do it. Because God is still merciful. And he wished that none will perish, but that all will come to repentance. So if you have the chance to do it, you should do it. And I must commend you for the step that you have made today. The Bible says in, let's read back over verse 5. Verse. It says, so Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, or unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Then he said, Marvel not, but I have said unto thee, you must be born again. This step that you are making here is, is, is not only something that is physical. Now, people will just see this as physical, but it's not just physical. When you go under this water today, it, it is death, burial, and resurrection. The person that comes back up out of that water spiritually is totally renewed now the flesh remains as jesus said that which is flesh is flesh so the flesh remains that is the sin nature of man the only time that sin nature will be done away with is when jesus comes back and everything is totally renewed and he gives us a brand new body I want to get some testimonies or anybody just want to say something short why 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 are you getting baptized today let me start with brother Carl uh, good morning um, the truth is it's, it's been a very long and tedious experience roughly two years experience with my own bloodline working against me which is including witchcraft basically my entire blood bloodline brother sister and the children, all for some reason just turned against me on account of one particular nephew. And in the end, after spending all the monies in, in restoring and renovating my home, even everything I own basically, everything I own for 30 years of my scale and trade, the family's belongings, sitting out in the weather as we speak right here. With me, I prayed and asked the Father God for my peace, and I had my peace. So the other stuff, which includes a um, uh, criminal case and whatever concerns the law, that's a different story. But when, when it comes to the spiritual, spiritual realm, I have no part in that. I'm not going to put a finger inside it. I just, just decided I'm going to make this step forward and see what the Lord has for me. Amen, 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 amen. Anybody else? Haley, why did you make this decision today?
have been an apprentice for 30 years and I had one foot in and one foot out. I always have the urge of serving God because he has done a lot for me. At one point I was sick unto death where the doctor gave up on me and I cried out to him. And from then I learned to worship but the church I used to go never know about worshiping and I felt like I was doing the wrong thing. I felt like I don't belong there. And I'm so happy that I find a church that believes in miracles, who believe that God lives and He reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And here I want to make a new start and to leave an example for my children to follow, to see that God is great and His glory to be praised. Amen. Anybody else? Good morning. <laughs> Um, I just want to um, say good morning to everyone. I just want to change my life because I know my life is brand new right now. So I gave my life to Christ because I went through a lot of things in my life. So I said I want to serve God and I want to get back to Christ. Thank you guys for your wonderful, um, not just testimonies, but also encouragement to those that are wrong and those that are um, watching online as well. Goodbye world. And the process of getting into the water. Now, deliverance time, sometimes persons, after deliverance, after baptism, I'm sorry, they get their full deliverance. Right? Sometimes your deliverance starts when you enter into the water mm -hmm. and a lot of persons don't know that asking this very important question. Is there anyone that never gave their life to Jesus Christ that want to do so at this moment? Oh, no, they're not those very bad. And you want to do so at this moment? You can just run forward now and I'll pray with you. Run forward fast. Let me see. Anybody? 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 Want to do it over there? Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I have broken your commandments. I have fallen short of your glory. I'm asking you to forgive me as I forgive all you that have chopped up against me. Good on, Claire.
King, pull it together, Anu.
Hold the shoe,
God, we give you thanks, we give you praise. For we have done what you have commanded us to do. And we know that your Holy Spirit now is able to comfort and keep us all. I pray, oh God, that you will continue to look over every candidate that was baptized today. Grant them, oh God, your peace, your joy, your love always. And I know that your grace stands forever. God, God, I pray, oh God, that you will see this peace, oh God, in the in mercy. And as we get ready for celebration tomorrow, I pray, oh God, that you will put a song in our heart. Bring thanksgiving inside of us as well. Amen. 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 Love you guys. Get home safely. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, just give candidates a high five or something. I get a high five something. Bless it. Bless it. Bless it. The guitar, man. <laughs> It's a church of love. Love God and love people. We will forever be a church of love.